I'm Dave Finnegan, and I want to talk about bubble up beats trickle down. <laughs> My vision is a safe climate where all human communities and the living world flourish for many generations to come. We're not headed in that direction now. Social change initiated from the top requires leaders to take risks, but leaders are risk averse because they want to win their next election. So we, the people, need to take the initiative in complex issues like solving the climate crisis. We need to create a popular movement like we did for women's suffrage, civil rights, the LGBTQ movement, resistance in South Africa against apartheid, and the general environmental movement. We can't wait for a Pearl Harbor moment to act. We need to help people become aware that this is a slow motion Pearl Harbor. With the climate crisis, we appear to have forgotten these precedents, and we're blithely assuming that our governments will solve the problem and tell us what to do. There have been 26 annual COPs, the Congress of the Parties at the United Nations, that have been dedicated to this end, but climate change is still one of the lowest priorities for Americans, and in the midst of an unprecedented climate crisis, too little is being done, and it's much too late. In fact, up to half the U.S. adult population still does not believe that the climate crisis is happening. There's a mistaken concept that we need to get straight as individuals and as a nation. It's that idea that leaders are the smart people and that they surround themselves with other smart people and they will come up with solutions and then those solutions will trickle down to us, in this case through government programs, conscientious businesses and industry. Exactly the opposite is usually true. Smart leaders listen to the people, figure out which way they are marching, and jump in front of the parade. So we need to work tirelessly to transform the way people are thinking and acting by segmenting the population and working on these separate segments with appropriate focus. What you say to elementary students, middle and high school kids, college-age students, young adults, and elders probably needs to be tailored to their understanding and their interests. So far, the only message out there has been, here's how bad it will be if we do everything wrong. I call this the dead polar bear approach. That message may work for the people who are already tuned in, the innovators like you and me. And we may be able to bring an early adopter or two aboard, but for the bulk of people who need to act, the early and late majority, it's not sufficient. They need to hear a hopeful message. Here's how great it's going to be when we do everything right. And we need to learn to ignore the laggards who will be against whatever we suggest. My work for decades has been with elementary school kids and their parents. From 1976 to 2006, I visited over 2,000 elementary schools in 46 states and 12 countries. I taught the physical educators of the world how to teach juggling, and I trained over 50 presenters to deliver a program I called Juggling for Success. As a consequence, an entire generation of young people learned to juggle with slow-moving nylon scarves and beanbags. So I'll take the responsibility now for my cohort, for the elementary and middle school kids and their parents and teachers. That's 100,000 schools and 40 million families. Our new program, Green Actioneers, focuses on these people, these populations, and what they can personally do to go green without stressing or even mentioning the negative consequences of inaction that can come, then that can come at the high school level. Others can handle the high school and the college students, the young professionals, the working adults, and the senior citizens. We have to segment them out and focus on each group. So my talk at South by Southwest is designed to activate participants to create targeted programs to focus on creating bubbles within these different subpopulations. And these bubbles will rise to the top. They'll work together to create a coherent strategy to undertake a national transformation that rapidly restores a safe climate and solves this onrushing crisis without generation, generating such strong blowback or opposition that we get stymied. 
We're dedicated to winning solutions that match the scale, the scope, and the speed necessary to avoid collapse and build a better world. We fight for what is needed to keep our communities safe. Our bubble-up approach needs to meet the trickle-down that's already in motion, but is inadequate to the crisis. It will take millions of voices from every subgroup of the population to respond to the climate emergency. So we work to get as many people involved as possible. When people come together, extraordinary things can happen. Community is our strength, so we need to build relationships with communities, groups, schools, and movements that share our values. We need to bring all the religious, secular, and educational organizations to the fight. It's a Herculean task, so let's get to work. I'm Dave Finnegan. I'm a green actioneer, and I hope you are too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.